something about those those uh, places that people just kind of drop everything and walk away from when their business fails and you know it ends up getting beat up and graffiti and broken glass and and uh, something about that that's just it, it's dead but it's alive you know it, it's hard to explain if you're not into that kind of stuff so I'm just curious when we were teenagers we used to uh, run through these old sewer pipes that ran underneath Maslin from like one end to the other and I'm just curious I had heard these things were blocked off a while back but since I'm in the area I want to see it does not look like it is closed check this out I don't know if I'd be stupid to go in there but I'm at least gonna go down there and take a look inside. Are you going to murder me? Sounds promising. <laughs> yeah, check this out, man. We used to run through these things when I was a teenager. It echoes all the way through. I don't know if I should go through there or not. I don't want to get murdered in a sewer pipe. Yeah, man, it's crazy being in here. I haven't been in this place for 30 years. Well, no, I guess it's been 26, I bet. This is crazy. I thought this was all blocked off. There's the other end. We used to bring our skateboards down here and try to skate in there, but most of the time there was always water. Pretty cool. Haven't been in there for a long time. It's even caving in a little right there on the street. And here's like if you're in there, you can look up and see. If you're in there, you can look up through that. But back this way, all the way over to where we started, is where it goes underground. Pretty cool. It's only uh, about four feet tall in there, so you gotta stay bent over. <sighs> and walk with your feet almost on the sides to avoid the water. But that was a cool little adventure to start my day. It's funny how when you get in a situation or back to a place you haven't been to for a long time, these memories come flooding back and these feelings that you used to have. Running through those pipes back there made me want my skateboard, a pocket knife, and a pack of Winstons. <laughs>
what does that mean? It's funny when people come out of their business and they're like, so what, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> and I had to go through the whole spiel and explain to them that I'm filming for YouTube. I noticed this old sign for a laundromat uh, from the highway. So I pulled over and I was taking shots of it. And this guy comes out strapped, man. I mean, he had, I don't know what kind of gun it was, but it was big. And so then it's like, what do you tell these people? You know, how do you explain to them? So I, I attempted to explain to him what I was doing. You know, when I see interesting things on the side of the road, I pull over and take pictures. And uh, he's like, oh, okay. And it's like, you feel like such an idiot, you know, when these people walk away, like with that look on their face. So in case you don't recognize it, this used to be a Hollywood video across the street. I honestly don't know if I ever even rented from there, but it was really awesome. I always loved the layout. I love the whole Hollywood look. I always hated it when people had a video store and they took the easy way out and they just decorated with something simple. So now it's like a vape lounge. So it went from being one of the coolest things in the world to one of the lamest things on the face of the planet. And then right beside it across the street here, that's an old Sears that went out of business not too long ago. A lot of retail establishments going out of business recently. It's funny, but I just love exploring. And look at this, this is funny. A couple of couches just totally discarded behind that abandoned Sears. That kinda hurt. Old halogen lights or something. Anybody need some buckets? Look at this. Somebody apparently cleaned out their car and dumped all the stuff in this trash and I just found money. Okay, so now I kind of think somebody got robbed and all their got dumped here. I just found a wallet full of stuff, including a driver's license. So we're going to do a little research on this. I mean, maybe somebody got... Yeah, I'm a little creeped out right now. I've never found like a wallet and personal possessions. I just hope something malicious didn't happen to this person, but I'm gonna see what I can find out and uh, you know, maybe get them their stuff back. That's kind of crazy. I really hope not, but you never know, this might have something to do with it. The window is busted out of that car. Okay, so this is like super creepy. I, um, everything that was in that trash can, I have laid out here to dry just so I could find the identification of this person and see if I could contact them at all. And, uh, it just, it feels so strange to be looking at this stuff. You know, I'm not like any kind of a creep, but I did want to try to get this stuff back to the person who it belongs to. And... I mean, I was right. This person was basically robbed. I went through and found enough information where I could dig around to find this person on Facebook. And I looked through their timeline a little bit, make sure it was them. And I found a, uh, a post where they say, my purse was stolen. If anybody finds it, let me know. So, I mean, it's just confirmed that I found this person's stuff. I'm going to pack it up here and let this person know some way that I found it. Um, and if I can't get a hold of them, I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, you know, put it in an envelope, stick it in the mail and get it to this person. So, uh, I'm glad that I was able to find that there was nothing in here that was like, there was no credit cards or anything like that. 
Um, there was a few like debit cards and gift cards and things like that. But I will tell you this, there was a birth certificate, um, driver's license, and two social security cards. So I'm sure this person will be glad to get that back. Okay, so everything here turned out really good. I actually just came from the place where I met the girl and handed her back her belongings personally. I'm so glad I was able to do that for her to recover that stuff. I mean, that was important information, you know, driver's license, social security cards, birth certificates, everything you could possibly need in there. You know, we carry around our life in our pocket and, uh, you know, you can lose that stuff just like that. I was really glad to find her and get that stuff back to her. I was honestly so afraid that I was going to look that license up and find that it was a missing person or worse. And then it's like, you know, what have I gotten myself into here? Because then you place yourself at the scene of the crime, per se. And uh, I I'm just glad it didn't go that way. I'm glad I was able to help somebody. So that's enough excitement for today, guys. <laughs> I'm going home to make some sausage and eggs.